It's time to start learning about uh, generics in Rust, and this is a uh, generics in functions. And first, the word uh, generics means uh, can be one type, <clears throat> can be another type. Uh, the opposite of a uh, generic of generic is concrete. It is one type, and uh, up to now, we've uh, we've only used uh, functions with uh, concrete types. Which are like a, you know, function returns an i32, a function returns uh, you know nothing, a unit type, uh, and I'll show you. Uh, so this is uh, this is what we've looked at so far. You see, not return type, return number. So this will, this function of ours will say, uh, here is your number. And then it will just uh, just return it. So it uh, you'll notice it doesn't even uh, doesn't even print out the number, and uh, there's a reason for that. Let's do that to return it, and then we'll say let number equals return number five, and so this will just say um, it'll just print out this, and then it'll give us the number five. So not very useful, uh, but. Uh, Let's say we want to uh, take this and make it uh, generic. So uh, let's imagine that uh, that we have this, uh, you know, number. We want to pass in a number, but maybe we want to give it uh, a uh, an IH, or maybe we want to give it some any 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 sort of type. So what we do is we uh, we make it generic by using these uh, angle brackets and. Uh, Put in something like a T, and instead of a uh, number I32, we say number T, and then it will return a T. And this here, this uh, you see these um, T, uh, you know U V, these uh, these one letter. When you see these uh, one capital letter kind of things notation in Rust, this uh, this means that it's generic. But the uh, or it's usually a hint that it's generic, but the thing that makes it actually generic is this here. So uh, it can actually, actually first, uh, let's run this first. And we'll see, uh, I'll just show you that it does work. So this, instead of returning an i32, is uh, returning the, uh, the thing that we give it. And so we could actually say, uh, let's not say it's a string anymore, or a number anymore, we'll say it's uh, my string equals, and, uh, Actually, I should probably change this to like return thing. Here is your thing, because it can be anything. So uh, return thing, and then we'll say uh, string from, and uh, I am a string. And then let's print out my string. And then we'll call this a thing, and we'll call this a thing. And so there you go. So that is, uh, you know, generics looks easy, but uh, that's because we're actually not doing anything with it. And we start doing things with generic uh, with the uh, with the input, then that's when it gets uh, more complicated. But the first uh, one other thing I wanted to show you first was that this can be anything. So in Rust, you'll see. You know, return types, uh, you know, structs and things like that. You'll see like, you know, struct book. And these are like readable, uh, readable words. And uh, with generics, you usually see like a, a T or a U or something. But that is just a, uh, a convention. So it's a common practice. And uh, generics, you can, uh, you can name them, give them real names if you want. You can say uh, it will return a thing. And it'll be exactly the same. So this is the only thing that matters to make it generic. So uh, let's see. And the other thing to know about uh, about the uh, the compiler in Rust is that uh, when you compile your Rust program, it uh, it will not look like this in the actual uh, in the actual code. It will turn this into a concrete function. So it will say uh, 
that say thing, and it will turn this, in this case, it will make it into this function that uh, that is a that is a string, and then returns a string. So that will be the uh, the function signature there. And then if I say that my number equals return thing and seven, then it'll make this uh, this function here, and uh, and it'll say that it takes an i32 and returns an i32. So that is called, uh, I think it's called monomorphization, which means make into one form, and then uh, probably you have this uh, this other, on the other side is uh, you know, monomorphic and uh, polymorphic, and this means uh, of more than one form. So that is one thing Rust does to make uh, to make its programs fast. Is it uh, during the uh, the compilation it will uh, it will turn these into uh, concrete functions, and then uh, they won't take a long time to run. So that is uh, the first thing to know about generics. And uh, in the next video, we're going to see what happens when we uh, when we actually have to do something. And by doing something, I mean like. Uh, there's adding, subtracting, there's, uh, you know, displaying, printing, all sorts of things like that. And that takes, uh, that takes a little bit more work.